What's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ SFML 2.0 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about a live joystick uh, input okay so let us get right into the code so before the game loop what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say if SF joystick is connected and it asks us for a joystick number and uh, what I'm gonna do is just uh, say if it is connected joystick one is connected else joystick one is not connected And what is the purpose of showing you this? Well, before when we had our in our event loop, right? When we checked if the joystick was connected, it only checked it if it was disconnected first and then we connected it after we started running the program, right? So it didn't check it wouldn't check if it was connected before we ran it. It only checked if we connected it during or while we ran the program. With this, it will let us know as soon as we run the program if the joystick number one is actually connected. So let's see, my joystick or my controller right now is connected, so it should say joystick one is connected. As you can see, it says joystick one is connected, so we don't really need uh, so, so we can check uh, which controllers are connected at the beginning of runtime using uh, the live uh, joystick, uh, using the live joystick input. Now, one thing before I forget is that even if you have absolutely nothing in your event loop, you still must create the event loop like I stated before. If you because the joystick stuff happens when we. Uh, have our event loop if you don't have the event loop then you're gonna have to make a call to joystick update so it can update the joystick events itself if you have the actual event loop then you don't need to make a call to SF joystick update okay uh, so this is uh, that's to check if the joystick is connected so now we got to check for uh, let's check for button button presses uh, so right here when when we say if our mouse button is pressed what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, SF joystick is button pressed now they ask us which joystick number we're talking about so the first one and it asks us for a button now depending on your joystick different buttons might mean different things for example on my ps3 controller the x might be a button one but uh, on a say on on your gamepad the x might be button four or something like that you never know right so it's always good at in your games for making uh joystick support to always allow the user to configure the gamepad within the game or give them a set uh uh give them like show them what buttons do what so you would say like set button one means jump button two means this so on and so forth so they can configure it for the game right uh but anyway so i'm just gonna say that if they press button one then update frame is equal to true and i'm going to say if joystick is button press uh, button two is pressed then update frame is equal to false so let's run this I don't remember which buttons I've set so I gotta check so okay so my triangle is button one and circle is button uh, two so I can stop by pressing triangle when I press circle it starts moving again it's on my ps3 controller okay now one thing is that not all joysticks or joy pads whatever have the same amount of buttons so sometimes you're going to want to know how many buttons it actually we can do this by simply uh making a call to this right here so if we say uh let's just say button count and we'll say sf joystick get 
button count and I'll have to put in as the joystick number and we'll get the buttons count so let's just display this to the screen and we'll just move this outside of the game loop so it won't keep on repeating it so we'll just paste it right here run this as we can see it, it says that I have 20 different buttons that I can choose from on this controller um, on this gamepad now I don't think there's 20 buttons on this controller I doubt there is but there might be different things assigned for it and based on my button configuration on my uh, on motion and motion enjoy um, I may have 20 buttons assigned for that but yeah so it tells me the different amount of buttons I have so another thing that we can do is actually work with the actual directional buttons whether it be like the arrow keys or the 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 analog sticks or, or, or something like that okay so what we're going to do now is uh, for for this for this right here um, what we're gonna do is just say that if SF joystick actually never mind so we're gonna make a a, a vector a vector 2 a vector 2 F and we're gonna say uh, axis position or we could say move speed or whatever you want to call it I'll just call it move speed and we're gonna say SF joystick get axis position okay and oh sorry so in the first parameters I'm gonna say SF joystick get axis position uh, from the joystick the first joystick and I'm gonna get the axis the x-axis and for the Y I'm gonna get the y-axis and then again depending on your control configuration it might be different and I'm just gonna put on a different line so like so so now that we, we got the stored we got the we got this stored correctly uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, so, yeah so what we're gonna do is this so I want to say if our move speed dot X is uh, greater than zero that means we are moving right right so we'll just say source dot Y is equal to right and we can say we're gonna say player image dot move and we're gonna say we're gonna move by the move speed times clock dot get elapsed time dot as seconds okay and if we wanted actually we don't even need to do that right right then and there we'll get rid of this right now so if if it is greater than zero then we'll set source y equal to right and we'll say else if move speed is less than zero then source dot y is equal to left else if move speed oh it should be dot x right here move speed dot y is less than zero uh, I believe that means it's moving up so it's equal to up else if move speed dot y is greater than zero source dot y is equal to down and right here at the bottom then we'll say that our move it's equal to move speed dot x times uh, clock dot get lapse time as seconds and for the y we'll say move speed dot y times clock dot get elapsed time as seconds okay and we can just get rid of this keyboard uh, get rid of the keyboard input here get rid of this and let's try running this program so the reason why I did the move speed like that is because my X and Y axis is controlled by uh, by the analog stick right so 
the farther we push the analog, the faster we will walk. And so if I push it a little bit to the right, it walks slowly. The more I push it, the faster it moves, right? And therefore we got movement like so. Okay, so this is my analog movement. And so I, I'm barely pressing up and now I'm moving up. Now I don't know why it's not changing it's only going it's only going between left and right because whenever I move it up it's still slightly uh it's slight still slightly uh uh, t uh facing left right cuz my analog is not exactly centered but I think you guys get the purpose of that now the one the last thing that I need to show you is uh we need to check it. some controls might not have a certain axis right so you might want to check to see if it has like an axis such as like a Z axis or or something like that. So we can simply just find out if a controller has a specific axis by uh, uh, saying SF joystick has axis. You, sp you specify the joystick number and uh, you get, you find out if it has uh, say like the Z axis. If it does have the Z axis, then this will return true. If it doesn't, it will return false. So you can check if it has certain types of axes to see if you can do certain things within your program. Uh, but that is it for the joystick live input. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and bye for now. Oh, and by the way, uh, before I even go, Sorry, by the way, my one of my friends or one of my boys is doing a VJ contest for Much Music. Uh, it it would I I would be really grateful if you guys could vote. I'm gonna be putting the link below. You can vote daily. Uh, so I think the contest ends. Uh, I'm not sure by the end of March or something. Not exactly sure, but if you guys could at least vote once, that'd be great. Uh, so that's that's it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this and bye